It's not a small celebration, it's massive. It's 20 years, you know what I mean? And to have my name on the flyer and, and ask to come and perform, it's a, it's a, it's a great honour for me. And not only that, it's just good to be here with my friend. Then. Well, 20 years ago, obviously, we were teenagers just excited and enthused by this music scene we'd fallen in love with, you know? Absolutely loved the sound system, roots, reggae, dubwise scene. So to actually suddenly hear dubchasm music played for the first time by uh, greats like Shaka, Abishanti or Iration Steppers was such a, an amazing experience. You know, the vibes were dread, smoky, dark dance halls. And you're thinking, are they going to play the dub play? Aren't they going to play the dub play? And you're waiting for the possibility of hearing your tune. And then when you do, it's just incredible because the, the, the sound of your music completely changes when it's played through a sound system. It gives it another dimension. And so building tunes, that's what you think about. You imagine it being played in a sound and what it's going to be, you know, showered with sirens and effects and mic man and, and so on. And um, really, it's just like, We've just had that kind of passion ever since, really. Never really lost that. Digi studying music at school and me having just got on Rag FM on the pirate radio station when we managed to have the first release put out. This was the first four track that, um, that was used to make Dubcasm tunes. We had a, a chapter in Dubchasm's history then where our, our music was only available on dubplate on these particular sounds until we were encouraged enough from all the feedback we got at dances that, yeah, now's the time to actually launch our own label and put some stuff out. As the saga continue, don't know how the OBF song system continue. I'm not to no sound about real people. Trust me, we don't care driving 15 hours to come here and play with Dubchasm, celebrate 20 years anniversary. Trust me, from the heart, big up. We've known each other all our lives, really. So we've been we've been best friends since we were basically born. That's made the whole journey even more enjoyable. You know, we've we've managed to do some really exciting things. We've travelled a lot. We've ended up playing in places like Japan, New York, and really it's a dream. You know, we're still excited by that. And we try to bring in new people who are new to the scene to try and encourage them and help them in whatever way we can in the way that the people helped us back then. I think that's really important, sharing that energy and knowledge and so on. That's why it's wonderful to have Evermore Sound playing on the event, celebrating our 20 years, youngers coming through in Bristol. I think one of the highlights of the last 20 years has been the people that we've worked with and met and become friends with and many of whom have been our heroes and you know icons to us who've inspired us we get such a lot from traveling and sharing our music that that's still such a buzz so to meet up with uh, like-minded people all around the world it's still such a thrill for us to do that and take the music to new territories you know there's so much more music to come there's so much more exciting projects and even though we're grounded in roots and dub the fact that we get so much vibes from uh, collaborating with people from other genres as well expands this even further and it's been really exciting recently um, taking this on on other routes and other journeys so yeah I think the future is uh, really exciting still just as passionate as 20 years ago <laughs> It's celebrating that we've managed to continue that as friends. You know, there's so many things that life throws at you the older you get. We've managed to keep this going and enjoy this 
musical journey as two friends and still involved and passionate in the music that we love just like we were 20 odd years ago. I'll be right.